show itself. Well, yeah. like, I, I, I yeah. saw some I, really good stuff. I, mean, I saw some really good stuff. The, all the games, a lot of the games on the show floor looked next gen. And like I talked to a lot of people who think there's just like a look to PS3 games that is like tangibly different yes. than Xbox That's, 360. I noticed that too. Most of these games, at least the one I play, is they run at 60. And right. it's like, and it, makes a it feels so nice and smooth. 60 frames per second. Yeah, like 60 yeah. frames per right. second. Like playing, yeah. playing Ridge Racer, I was like, wow, like this feels a lot different than, than like most racing games. It's yeah. so smooth. It's almost crazy. Yeah. This is Motor Storm's the same way too. Like, Motor Storm's beautiful. Like, I mean, it, Especially it, it, in first person, Motor yeah. Storm looks unbelievably yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it, so you guys think it's, it, it is that like 60 frames per second? That I just, well, I think it's, it's a like, mixture of like so, yeah. blur and yeah. like shadows and just like some effects. They're using a lot of effects. A lot of effects that like you don't see on Xbox 360 games in the same yeah. way. Yeah. And you yeah. can kind of, you can tell, I mean, like, you know, it's hard to discern, but they look really crisp and weird totally and cool and clear. Yeah. Like, yeah. People hitting for a launch window are only maybe hitting 40 to 50% of the PS3's power, and that mid-07 onward is when, like, See, games will look, oh, shit, this is a PS3. That's been my point about the PS3 the entire time, is that, yeah, I mean, we, we see these games first generation, but, man, just, just watch what's going to happen in March, mm -hmm. as early as March. And we already see what's happening with MGS4 and I mean, the, the whole thing. When you see teams who know Sony hardware like Square Enix and Kojima Productions with MGS4 and Final Fantasy 13. What did you guys think about the, um, like the... Uh, Phil Harrison's like presentation of the, like, the well, dashboard. yeah, he, he showed us like the dashboard. You know, just like simple things like showing a slideshow of pictures, but it, it, it turned them into these these 3D objects. Like, it, like turned them into like film strips and photographs, and like right. threw, threw them down. It looked really cool. Yeah, I mean, I think what tends to happen is that we we they, they show off things that no one really cares about. But what we did find out was that you know some significant things about online, the, which web, is the web browser, like multi web browser. multiple multiple web browsers at the same time. Well, yeah, that's that's great. Uh, a single login. Single That's really important. I think everyone needs to be clear on that. Right. They showed um, us the interface for like friends and messaging friends and inviting he, friends. And they showed us how you could you could yeah. wirelessly connect your PSP to your PS3 and access all the stuff on your hard drive and like watch the videos, listen to the music, see the you know, pictures. That's pretty cool. Like the backlash against PS3 is coming from like Xbox fans and people who are afraid of this and like people who don't want it to succeed. Mm -hmm. Now that we're seeing they have this shit together, the lineup is there, they have top quality games, the hardware is good. It's it's so you think this this show like says to you like yeah Sony, Sony delivered. did Sony, Sony delivered. delivered and I'm not the only one yeah. saying it people yeah. who have been like doubting it are saying it too yeah, like it's... when you go in that booth and see all the games and like there are a lot of games to play when they look really good mm -hmm. it's kind of like oh yeah this is where I'll be playing a lot and remember, of my games remember we're well, just, I'm just Japanese games we're not seeing the, yeah. the, the third party American games right. as well that's true I mean but I'm just like very happy to, to see that like why I would spend an extra $200 on this console right. as opposed to the ones that are well, like out there also, you know not every game here is great I mean like Coded Arms is running at 15 frames a second <laughs> and there's like a Mahjong game and right, not right. everything here is, like a, is a 72 Mahjong games yeah there's games. a lot of Mahjong but, games but no, no, they yeah. do have a really strong lineup Virtua Fighter 5 is oh, beautiful, awesome. arcade yeah. perfect, and like yeah. you can't even buy a Virtua Fighter 5 arcade machine. You have to rent them in Japan. Really? Yeah, because they're like they're so expensive. It costs like forty thousand dollars, <laughs> and it is arcade it perfect is really for awesome. five hundred. They're making an arcade stick. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a really serious, heavy six button thing. Yeah, like for me, I'm a Virtua Fighter nut. That's yeah. like the fact that I can play that game mm -hmm. at home yeah. is amazing. I mean, on the show floor, the difference between the excitement for PlayStation 3 versus Xbox 360 is like almost funny. All the yeah. big AAA third-party yeah. Japanese games, they're all exclusive to PlayStation 3, mm -hmm. and that's not going to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you kind of forget about that. Like, like it's been a little bit quiet for the PS3 the past couple months or whatever, but now being at TGS, I'm like, wow, okay. The excitement yeah. is tangible, yeah. and like, yeah. everyone's kind of feeling it. Yeah, yeah. 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 SDF 3 <laughs> So